take 9,000. I hope you're here for it. Hey, people who exist, um, I'm Saray, and today I'm going to tell you what you should be watching on Netflix, I guess. So, today's review is going to be on The Circle. I think, so, everything I'm going to say is, like, stuff you could see in the preview, I guess. First off, before I say anything else... I want to be on the circle um if you are the circle if you make the circle me next the circle it is a new show that showed up on Netflix sometime like around the beginning of the year I guess I don't be on that hoe every day so but so I go on Netflix I see the circle or Maybe I might have seen some stuff on the internet about it first, but I clicked on it definitely one night and I was just like, mm, this looks dumb. Like, this looks like something I might be able to fall asleep to. And like, that's what I left it as. But then I started getting like sucked into the show, distracted from the menial test that I was at. And so I actually like tuned in and started giving the show a chance. Like I went back and watched the initial episodes and I was like, The Circle, basically, The Circle is a reality show for starters. Let's just genre. Um, And I do, let me, I do not enjoy reality shows like this usually. Like this uh, was exceptional in my opinion for a reality show. It's set up so that you go live in an apartment building in your own little apartment. They're very cute. um, And everybody seemed to be happy living there. But they might have been acting because it was a reality show. Who knows? But, um, so the apartments are cute. But the way you win the game is by participating in this um, enclosed social media platform. And you try to win by being the most liked on the social media whatever and the social media is called the circle yo this show is so funny like but but let me let me let me not get into that yet let me talk about my favorite contestants my favorite characters are or characters yes they're characters they went on there to be characters my number one was um a older uh lesbian lady she her name was karen and she was catfishing as this regular girl named mercedes and she had i don't know she for starters she was hilarious like she, i don't know why everyone like she was really being herself it was just really funny. She was just playing with these people. I liked her whole philosophy about the game. And she was just a riot. She was one of the people that had me cackling. Um, and then, so I have two people tied for the second place spot, which is the whole top three then. Um, but so the tie is Chris and Sammy and they're tied because like I relate to Sammy like I feel her like I understood her a lot of the stuff like a lot of her sentiments on the show I was like yeah you're I get you you feel me like um and a lot of the ways that she like dealt with people or or, I don't know, there was some weird stuff about her too, but all of these people is weird. <laughs> also, I think I probably liked Karen because she probably seemed the most normal, like, to me, just to me. But, um, Chris was the other tie for a second because, uh, this man, he was hilarious. He was hilarious. He had these straight boys shook for starters let's start there um he was very talented on the makeup tip um and was a skinny legend to be honest but um he was very jesusy which i didn't mind he was real positive about it but it's just like i don't identify with that so like i just had a a, a better connection with sammy i wanted karen to win most and then second i wanted uh 
Chris and Sammy, Chris or Sammy to win. Um, so who knows? Sidebar, um, I didn't have anything particularly against Seaburn except for the way he started saying we and giving his catfish a personality, like a whole, like, like a separate voice. But, um, I didn't like that his name was Seaburn. Other than that, he seemed like a legitimate person. Alright, so my least favorites on this show. Miranda, Antonio were one and two. Um, Miranda was the least favorite because, like, she was just very regular. Like, she only really had, like, very regular. I can't, I'm not in her head, but she was just very dry. Like, very dry. Um, extra regular. And her game plan was really to just, like, uh, just, uh, I don't know, like, was you really that horny for everybody like or like was that your game plan and if so like why is that your game plan like mm. but no judgment but it didn't seem like that's what was gonna help her get to the bag so like that's also i was like girl you you dumb but um so antonio to be honest, he really just seemed like a fuck nigga, and basically he just proved to everybody that he was. Um, I don't know. He just seemed like the running mill basketball nigga, like um, but like with no, without the personality chip, like this man. I'm sorry to this man, but. If I seen him on the street, I do not know this man. But so for third place, I have two people, um, which I don't know. But so I couldn't decide between Alana and Alex. And um, to be honest, like I don't know, they was both dry. Or no, they wasn't both dry. They both was um type weird to me. That's what was the problem with Alana and Alex, like. Um, and I was talking to somebody else about this, and they were like, no, Alana, you're just misunderstanding her, and basically, oh, I didn't like her because when she would come in group chat, she'd be like, pretty girls, and we're so pretty, skinny queens, and I was like, yeah, like, it, that's cool, but, like, bitches be smart, too, like, you feel me? Yeah, that's another way that I had really, like, felt Sammy because she also was like, well, that's type weird. Um, and it made her come off, like, more like a catfish, like, her over, like, I guess her being herself, she was too much of herself, like, <laughs> I'm sorry, yo. <laughs> um, but someone was like, no, yeah, she was really just, like, a fun model. Like, that's just who she was. Like, you don't get it. And I was like, I do not get it. Like, maybe I've just never just felt, like, that much of a... Um, so Alex was tied with her because he was just weird. Like, he just talked about cats and stuff all the time. I mean, you could talk about whatever you want all the time. Like, have interest. Like, be, like, talk about your life. Like, if that's, like what you want to talk about but also the way he played the game was type weird like he was being real creepy and he probably would have been better off just being himself because it would have been so much more relatable and everybody just thought they had to go on their show and be sexy but i really think that the way to win this is to be everybody's friend um but these yos was out here like everybody chose to be like put their status as single in the game whether or not they were single um and i felt like that was unnecessary because um be friends with these hoes that's how you really make people like you by showing them that you're like a decent friend or something like these people is weirdos, but like not in the right ways, you feel me? So my overall rating for the circle would have to be a 7.85 because 
it's a reality show which automatically is like points off but like that is probably gonna be like an unusually high rating if i ever read another reality show like but it was good like that's high like five is five is like you know you know how f out of 10 works so basically this show is hilarious it had me screaming and so i think that you should watch the circle on netflix hope that clap wasn't too dramatic i'm sorry something 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 and something else Okay, okay, okay. So, also, a 7.89, but a 7.85 because, oh, my hairs. But, oh, the circle. Um, um, so, I'm gonna try my best. Yeah, I'm not. I'm gonna try my best not to. I'm not gonna do spoilers. And so, like, I would have wanted Karen to win most. And then, like, um, I like the way. Mm, no spoilers. Oh, well. No, these aren't spoilers. Cause the whole time, like, you don't know who's gonna win. <laughs> But, um...